Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. I'm going to be swatching for you 12 lip products from Lisa Eldridge, including the four brand new shades that have just been released. Now I do have one lip gloss, one lip liner, and the rest of them are lipsticks. So my lips are pigmented, as you can see. So I did purchase the blush kit, which is new this year. It's a beautiful bag and it is really stunning. But the kit does come with a lip gloss, a lip liner, ooh, a lip liner and a lipstick. So I'm going to pop on the gloss first because that's just going to be very easy for me to remove. Now I have only received these products, so this is not a review. This is just a first impression. I'm just going to pop this on. It's very pretty. So this is kind of like a mauve pink shade. It feels very soft and smooth on the lips. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all. This has more of a very a slippy lip balm texture, but it's not emollient, if that makes sense. And I did wear this today for a few hours and it even lasted through lunch, which was pretty good. So this is the lip gloss in the shade Blush. This is very close to my normal lip color. I feel like this is my sort of my lips but better sort of shade. It is beautiful. Now I will just add on another layer just to see if we can increase that pigment. Oh, it looks really nice. So this is a lip gloss in blush. Now, the short time that I did wear this today, which was about, I'm gonna say four hours, it lasted well, it didn't come off when I had lunch. I don't at all remember my lips feeling dry, so I'm quite happy about that. Next up, I have Affair. This is described as a earthy, soft caramel shade. It has neutral to golden undertones. Ugh. This color is gorgeous, oh my god. Yes, wow. Okay, you have to get a fair. This is so beautiful. And you know what? I really thought this shade was going to look a little bit muddy on me. I thought it was going to be too neutral just looking at the pictures. For example, the model pictures, I'm gonna pop up on the screen. Now, unfortunately, Lisa Allergy's website doesn't have a model that's close to my skin tone. They have people that are lighter than me or deeper than me, but really nobody <laughs> close to my skin tone, which unfortunately just doesn't help when you're trying to figure out what shades are going to look good on you. So I'm really hoping with this video that I'll be able to help you out in deciding what shades will work for you if you're close to my skin tone. This model and on her, the shade looks beautiful, but it does look very, very neutral. And I was afraid this was gonna look muddy on me. And then if I look at the model just before her, she does have that yellow undertone. I believe she even has some olive undertones. So the undertones are similar to me, but of course her skin color is a lot lighter. Now on her, this shade looks a lot darker and very different to how it looks on me. And that would be because of the color of her lips. Her lips would be a lot lighter than mine. Mine are definitely pigmented, so yeah it's it's tricky you can't really tell from these models what these lip colors are going to look on you if you're close to my skin tone but anyways this is why we're doing this video and the problem i've had with neutral brown lipsticks is that they are often too neutral and then they look muddy they look not even muddy they just look unflattering on my skin tone if i go too neutral or too cool in my browns my skin looks ashy doesn't look good at all so i love how much warmth this has this has warmth but it's got just the perfect balance of warm and neutral undertones and i love it i love it this shade is is everything Mmm, yes, I love it. I'm going to love this shade as well. Oh god, this is so beautiful. These lipsticks apply very smooth. They're not exactly creamy because there isn't a lot of emollients in here, but they're very smooth and they feel a little bit mousse-like. A beautiful texture. Oh, I am 
am I am in love wow this is the shade blush and you know what this looks even better than I thought it was going to look so let's bring up the model pictures again so if you look at the deeper model the shade blush looks almost a little bit red tone on her it doesn't quite look like this and then if you look at the model that's lighter on the spectrum it looks again it looks a little bit red and it looks very deep on her on me this shade is definitely like a pink berry and i don't really see a lot of red in this shade it's definitely a pink berry on me it's just beautiful so this is blush Another beautiful shade that I know I'm going to be wearing a lot. I quickly want to show you the lip liner as well. So I've just removed blush and the lip liner does have this very strong cap. Like it's a very tight fit, which I believe Lisa Eldridge did design it that way just to make sure that this is not going to dry out. I think that's fantastic. I wish there had been an affair bag collection because if there was, I probably would have gotten it. I think and a fair gloss would look stunning and a fair lip liner come on we need it <laughs> so this is a lip liner blush i feel like the lip liner looks a little bit lighter just a tad lighter than the lipstick so this is the lip liner in blush very pretty i definitely made a good decision buying that bag because i know i'll be able to wear the lip liner, the gloss, the lipstick. You know what? Let me pop on the lipstick and the gloss so you can see what it looks like all together. Okay, so I've got the lip liner on. I'm just going to top it off with the lipstick. This is definitely a cool tone berry shade. But it's not so cool that it washes me out. Now I'm taking the gloss and I'm just going to layer the gloss on top. And this is the three lip products together. Next up is the shade Dragon. So I was really looking forward to this shade because it's described as a burnt red with yellow undertones. So very excited to see what this is going to look like. Oh yes, that's pretty. I feel like this shade has a little bit of a drier texture than the other colors I've just tried. That is stunning as well. This is Dragon, I love it. So it's described as a burnt red and I think it does lean a little bit pumpkin, but it's not too, too pumpkin. It's, it's really beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Definitely a color that I think really works with my skin tone. I don't know if this is gonna work for a lot of skin tones, but if you're around my skin tone, it definitely works. I think if you have yellow or olive undertones, this is going to look amazing. Next up is Carnival, which is described as a bright pink fuchsia with cool undertones. This is kind of scary. It's like, look at that. Ooh. Wow. Okay. It's like a bright, bright bubblegum pink. Wow. Um, I don't think this color is for me. It is very bright. It's very pink. And I don't normally wear bubblegum pinks. I, I wear fuchsia pinks, but warmer pinks. This is definitely cool tone. And, oh. I don't know you guys I I don't think I like this one I think I'll be able to make this work with a lip liner and then use this shade 
very lightly applied right in the middle of my lips. I think that's the way I will use it. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. So this is Carnival. So those were the brand new releases this year. And then I decided to pick up more of her lipsticks from previous collections. And this is the shade Muse. Now, this is probably the lightest I would ever go in a nude. It's definitely like a pinky brown nude color. I think it's a little bit cool. It's a little bit neutral. And I think I will wear this lip color with a lip liner. I think then it will be perfection. But I still like how this looks on me and I think I can definitely wear this. So this is a shade Muse. Very pretty, like a pretty pink. This is Skyscraper Rose and this pink I like. This is what I call fuchsia. The previous shade Carnival was more of a bubblegum pink even though it's described as a fuchsia. I think this is fuchsia. And this definitely has more warmth in it than the bubblegum pink shade, than Carnival. And I know that this is a shade that I will absolutely wear and I think it looks pretty nice on my skin tone. So this is Skyscraper Rose. Wow, I love this shade. This is Myth and it's so beautiful. How beautifully fall and winter appropriate. Definitely a deep reddish plum shade. It's beautiful. Ooh, so pretty. This is the shade Velvet Morning. This is a bit too much of a pastel orange but too much of a light orange for my personal preference and i just prefer velvet dragon over this one so yes it's a beautiful color and i think on the right skin tone it would look really stunning but on me i like it but i don't love it i definitely prefer Velvet Dragon over this specific shade. It actually reminds me of Patrick Tarr's orange lipstick. I forget the name, but that one and this shade are actually quite similar. If you've already got the Patrick Tarr lipstick in that orange shade and you love it, you don't need this. This is Velvet Ribbon, the most perfect red for all skin tones. It is beautiful. It's that, you know, that typical blue based red and it's really beautiful. It's actually not too bright, like on my lip color, it has some depth to it and I really, really enjoy this color. Sorry about the application, by the way. But it's almost 10 p.m. here so i'm actually dying to go to bed and i've got work early in the morning tomorrow so yeah sorry about the application this is velvet jazz such a beautiful deep deep red and what i love about this shade it actually doesn't have a lot of brown or a lot of red it's it's a very nice balance between brown and red it's beautiful So that was the last lipstick swatch and these lipsticks are beautiful. None of these lipsticks applied patchy on me at all and today I've actually got slightly chapped lips and I'm happy to say that even on my chapped lips 
they didn't really cling to those dry patches these are actually quite smooth and they are very 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 matte like some mattes will have some sort of shine to them for example Estee Lauder mattes or even Charlotte Tilbury mattes these are not like those mattes these are full-on intensely matte lipsticks Again, this is not a review, it's only a first impression because I haven't had these lipsticks long enough to give you my full thoughts on it. But we are talking about Lisa Eldridge here, so I would be very surprised if I was to change my mind about these lipsticks and say they're not good. I highly, highly doubt that. I get so happy when you guys subscribe because I get a little teeny notification that says you have subscribed and it definitely puts a smile on my face. So check the subscribe button. If it says subscribed, perfect if it doesn't say subscribe that means you still need to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video see ya